I think for me, the village has provided an opportunity to make friends during a time where that feels impossible and they're and and that we're stuck at home. So the fact that I've never met most of you in person, but still um, have this anchor to my week where I can see friendly faces and talk about things that I don't get to talk about in any of the other groups that I manage or organize or participate in is um, feels like you know something that's become really important during this super weird time in our lives. I think of sacredness. I think of you know like an actual space. I think of a place of refuge, an oasis after a long journey, and and this place has a little bit of that feel. It's a sanctuary, and so to be able to come in and and, and be vulnerable and connect with people through all of this has been special. It's been fun. It's not just a social group. It's not a support group. It's not, it, but it ends up being this, it's just a, an awesome support and community that is hard to put into words. And that's the real magic is that we welcome everyone in and we say that, you know, um, everyone is equal, every voice matters, and what everyone contributes is vitally important to what we create together. And for me, it's just that, to, just to tell someone that you're important you matter and that's incredibly powerful i would say the village has been intentional community that's really gotten me through the past eight months so i'm just really grateful for all of you and that you keep showing up and that i get to be a part of this it's like a it's like a room like a safe place you know with familiar faces where i can feel heard i feel of value i feel like I get to practice active listening and just important communication skills and just hear amazing perspectives from people from so many different walks of life. And it comes every week and I look forward to it every week and I make time for it every week because it's become so important. Being able to connect and just listen to different perspectives with people that I would normally, under normal circumstances, probably not have those kinds of interactions with some of you. To me, it's just, just I would just enjoy just coming to hear what is important to everyone and what everybody is talking about and what is everybody is thinking about. I actually, yeah, I remember our first one. It was like, yeah, it was goofy. I was anxious hosting it. It was fun. And the last six months, you know, it's been different, a different world. And, and having this village is like a family in a way. We have that comradeship with people you trust who feel the same in a lot of ways. Different stories, but, but deep down, we share a lot. I'm on TikTok and I hear people saying like, Oh, I don't know. I, I'm not getting as many likes on my video. Like, what's going on? Like, where's everybody going? And they think it's, you know, like something's happened. I just feel bad for them. I mean, I like that people are creating things and putting it out there and I want them to do it out of joy and not, not needing to make money or get a certain number of likes. So I think we should reach out to the TikTokers, you know, and say like, hey, let's build a community and get to know people. And um, so I'm going to go out there and get people and bring them in here. I think that we need to have more villages.